did you know that a single jar of honey requires the life work of over 500 bees? That's right, those busy little workers are flying up to three miles away from their hive, visiting about two million flowers, just to make a pound of liquid gold. But what happens after our buzzing friends do their part? How does that sweet nectar transform into the perfectly golden syrup sitting on your breakfast table? Many people think honey just goes straight from the hive to the bottle. Others believe factories add sugar or artificial ingredients to make it sweeter. But what's the real story? How do modern facilities turn raw honeycomb into the pure, crystal clear honey we know and love? And most importantly, does processing honey destroy its natural benefits? Let's start at the beginning, where the journey from hive to home really begins. Picture this, early morning at a local apiary, where skilled beekeepers approach their hives with the careful precision of surgeons. They're not just collecting honey, they're protecting their tiny livestock. Pretty amazing, right? These bee whisperers know exactly when to harvest, ensuring their colonies remain healthy and productive. But here's something that might surprise you. Did you know that bees actually make extra honey specifically for us to harvest? Talk about nature's perfect partnership. Now, here comes the really cool part, the extraction process. Ever wondered why factory honey looks so different from raw honeycomb? The answer lies in a fascinating piece of equipment called a centrifuge. Think of it as a honey-themed amusement park ride. The honeycombs are placed in this massive spinning machine, and through the power of centrifugal force, fancy words for really fast spinning, the honey literally flies out of the comb. But here's the million dollar question. How fast does this machine need to spin to get every last drop of honey out without damaging it? Let's talk about filtering. And no, it's not as boring as it sounds. Imagine playing the world's stickiest game of I Spy, where you're trying to catch tiny pieces of wax, bee parts, yes, really, and other natural debris. The honey goes through a series of increasingly fine filters, each one catching different sized particles. But here's what's fascinating. The filters are specifically designed to remove only the unwanted bits while leaving all the good stuff like pollen and enzymes intact. Speaking of which, did you ever wonder why some honey crystallizes while others stay liquid forever? What the hell are you talking about? Now for the part that often raises eyebrows. Pasteurization. I know what you're thinking. Isn't heating honey bad? Well, hold on to your beeswax. Modern honey facilities use something called gentle pasteurization, which is more like giving honey a warm bath rather than a hot sauna. The temperature is carefully controlled to kill any unwanted bacteria while preserving all those wonderful natural properties we love about honey. But here's the burning question. How do they know exactly what temperature achieves this perfect balance? The quality control lab might look like something out of a sci-fi movie, but it's where the magic of consistency happens. Every batch of honey is tested for moisture content, purity, and even its floral source. Want to hear something wild? These honey scientists can actually tell which flowers the bees visited just by analyzing the pollen in the honey. But how accurate are these tests, and what happens to honey that doesn't meet the strict quality standards? Finally, we reach the bottling stage, the grand finale of our honey's journey. Modern filling machines can handle hundreds of jars per minute, each one precisely filled to the exact same level. It's like watching a choreographed dance of golden nectar. The jars are sealed with tamper-evident caps, labeled and prepared for shipping. But have you ever noticed how some honey bottles have different shapes? There's actually a fascinating reason behind each design. From busy bees to busy factories, that's how nature's sweetener makes its way to your table. Next time you drizzle honey on your toast or sweeten your tea, remember the incredible journey it took to get there. A perfect blend of natural wonder and modern innovation. Who knew making honey could be so unbelievably interesting? Mm, sorry, couldn't resist that one. The next time someone asks you where honey comes from, you can tell them it's not just about the bees, it's about the fascinating partnership between nature and technology that brings this liquid gold to our tables. But what do you think? Has learning about this process changed how you view commercial honey? Let us know in the comments below.